Good morning, this is Jay from Rona Rigs. On this video, I'm going to show you how to do a memory update on your Dell Precision 3581. A couple of tips and tricks to make sure it goes smoothly and what the end result looks like. So, let me bring up a, let me split the camera. Okay, cool. So, what I've got here, let me just adjust this. Uh, see if I can put this down here. I'll just minimize myself a little bit just so you can see. So what I've got here is my Dell Precision 3581. It's a couple of months old and in some of the videos that I've shot, you can see a little bit of lagging. So I realized that I needed to pick up another uh, piece of RAM. So it, it came with 16 gig. I currently have here, let me bring that up to the screen. Uh, the camera, sorry, I've got a 16 gig module right here and I've got the laptop. So I actually have done this, I tested it. So what you'll actually see is that um, it will all work because I sort of figured out a couple of things. So before I do that, let me just quickly explain. So the first piece of RAM I purchased was a Kingston Fury. I purchased two 16 gig modules for a total of 32. Got, got the modules, installed them, it didn't work. So I went back and forth with Kingston and found out that they have a compatibility list on their website, which I will share in this um, in the YouTube video at the in the um, descriptions section. That they basically say only this RAM will work. Uh, I can confirm that the Fury didn't work for whatever reason, but this mo this brand new module that I got, which is just one single sixteen dual channel uh, DDR five, does work. So. Let me preface that, uh, it does come with Samsung RAM built into it, so you can opt to get a, a Samsung stick, depends obviously the country you're in and what sort of price you're going to pay. So let me show you how to do the upgrade, let me flip over, so what we have here is the Precision 3581 at the bottom, I'm going to start undoing the screws, and a couple of things that uh, you'll notice is that when you pull the screws out, when you unscrew the screws, you can feel the end of the thread, but sometimes you might find that it actually takes a little while to get the back of the laptop off. So I've done this a few times, and what I have here is my trusty uh, blank credit card, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to the corner, pry it open, so just give me a second, and you'll see... It just comes off like that. So that's the back. We have the internals of the laptop. So you can see here the spare DDR, uh, the sorry DDR5 slot. Here we've got the factory Samsung memory right there. So all I'm going to do is open up. Firstly, sorry, there is something that let me share with you quickly. Make sure you do this because otherwise it might mess up your computer. So make sure you disconnect the battery. This is the battery right here. Make sure you disconnect that before you put the RAM in. So I've installed this RAM and tested it, so that's why you'll see the packet comes off pretty easily. Basically, get it in, slot it in, you'll hear the click. And then I'm gonna screw back, I'm gonna screw the, I'm gonna put the battery plug back in. I'm going to pop the back of the case back on and you should hear it clip, uh, click back in for certain parts of it. Screw it back together, so it should be, should be pretty quick. Okay, all right, this should be done. I think there might be two more. Yep, you can hear a bit of a click there. Okay, there's a bit of a click. Okay, so now it's been installed. What we're going to do is I'm going to flip over the computer in a second, and I'm going to turn it on, and I'm going to show you a little quirk that I've noticed, so bear with me one second. So we have the computer right here. Let me bring that camera back, back up. So... Here we have the laptop, it's quite bright, let me see if I can turn the light off, there we go. Alright, so, I'm going to turn it on, and please keep waiting. 
because this, this loaded up immediately because I've already installed the RAM, but I have to make sure to say well, the first time I installed the RAM, it actually took about a minute of just a black screen before the Dell logo started to show up. So I'm going to suggest to you that if you install it and it doesn't automatically load up, you'll know why. You've just got to wait. So that's it. The laptop's up and running again. And I've now got 32 gigs of RAM, which, norm which by Dell would have cost me about $450. From Kingston, I got it for a little bit under 100. So easy to install. I will. Uh, if you have any questions, hit me up in the comments. Otherwise, I hope uh, I hope you enjoy the video. Thanks very much.